since closing the hatches between the uh, Soyuz craft and the Rossviet module to which it is currently docked. They accomplished a series of leak checks between uh, on either side. Uh, before entering the craft, they were able to say a final farewell to the three uh, astronauts and cosmonauts that will remain on board the International Space Station. Uh, here you can see them beginning to uh, egress into their docked Soyuz vehicle. Uh, all of the crew currently inside of the Rossviet module right here. You can see NASA astronaut Dr. Tom Marshford now moving in. Um, the man he's moving past uh, in the striped shirt there is uh, Pavel Vinogradov, a Russian cosmonaut who is remaining on board and will continue uh, his stint as commander of Expedition 36, having taken over command of the International Space Station yesterday from departing commander, Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield. Now giving a final goodbye there and climbing in, you can see Russian cosmonaut Roman Romanenko. He will be in the center seat uh, of the descent module throughout the flight this evening. Uh, in charge of all the Soyuz systems uh, throughout the flight. Uh, he is the uh, TMA-07M commander. Uh, you will hear him referred to as Palus, uh, his call sign, Palus being the Russian word for sail. Uh, he is currently conversing with the uh, flight control team in Koryov, Russia, in the Russian MCC, or Mission Control Center. Again, this taking place a little bit earlier this afternoon. Uh, that final hatch closure coming at 2.50 p.m. Central Time. And following that hatch closure, again, they conducted a series of leak checks on either side of the hatch, uh, both in the Rossviet side with Vinogradov remaining on board the station, and Romanenko conducting those checks from the Soyuz side inside of the orbital module. There you can see the hatch being closed between the two, that the hatch uh, on the Soyuz craft. Three astronauts loading into the uh, Soyuz craft, departing after spending 144 days on board the International Space Station. The crew arriving in that craft after launching from the Baikonur Cosmodrome back in December. By the time they land a little bit later tonight, they'll have spent 146 days total in space. Uh, each of these astronauts uh, racking up um, a good deal of time after this long duration expedition. Uh, amongst them, uh, Soyuz Commander Romanenko clocking in at 334 days after this evening. Uh, as he had previously flown on a long-duration space flight during Expeditions 20 and 21. Uh, meanwhile, uh, departing Expedition 35 Commander Chris Hadfield will be at a total of 166 days in space, a uh, veteran of three space flights now. His two previous uh, stints on board uh, space shuttles during STS-74 and STS-100. And finally, Tom Marshburn will be clocking in at 162 days in space, a veteran of two missions now, this Expedition 34-35, and also STS-127.